Hey everyone, it's Richard Metal Fan here, continuing the Black Sabbath discography, and today we're going to be looking into Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, the band's fifth album released in 1973. Um, and this album is, of course, following up their uh, volume four album, which the, the band was pretty much pleased. They pretty much wanted to recreate sort of like that same atmosphere and sort of like the same um, experimentation that was on that album. But they have, with this album, like I as like I just mentioned, like it sort of like continues in that sort of vein of volume four, which volume four had like some different stuff. Like they even included a ballad with piano and stuff. Um, and uh, like then of course they pretty much have like some different st styles or different like elements that they've incorporated on this. Like like especially with the last two so songs, where I believe Tony Iommi actually wanted to play like flutes or even bagpipes with. On here and he actually even is a good solid piano player i'm surprised he played a piano you no know, on a couple of these tracks and, and of course let's just dive right into this like vocally ozzy just sounds as good as ever um and just tony just his guitar playing like i can mention before he's a riff god there's no denying that then of course like he also does like some plays at other instruments on here like he plays flutes and bagpipes and even play, plays piano um but Geezer Butler, I feel like his bass was pretty good. Is pretty audible. I feel like there's a couple moments where I kind of wish he was heard a little bit more, but that's just me. Um, and drumming wise, Bill Ward can do no wrong on the drums. So yeah. So without further ado, let's dive into this album track by track. Now starting things off uh, is the title track, Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, and this album just pretty much wastes no time because when you the first thing you hear on this album, you are treated with some really great riffs that makes you just want to hum and, and your stuff. And it just has some really great vocal performance from Ozzy. Just you could definitely tell he has that raw emotion from like the opening verses to like even like the more softer parts of the album. And then there's like a really just kind of like a doomy part which pretty much ends the song. And in my opinion, it's one of the most black great blah, the one of the most greatest songs that black sabbath has ever done and this pretty much the band is just pretty much we're on top on here um then we move on to a national acrobat which i feel like once again we are just get greeted with some great riffs from tony iomi and i feel like the the bass on here is definitely audible on here with and just some really great vocal performance from ozzy and the drums are pretty much a big highlight on here and in my opinion i feel like like it's one of the the most my favorite sabbath songs on here and, and i feel like the song is pretty underrated in my opinion i feel like it deserves more recognition um moving on to fluff which is a pretty interesting song it's an instrumental song and the guitars here were greeted are acoustic which is the first on this album but i feel like just tony just hell handles it with sort of like the great talent that he is known for and while this song is is pretty much good on a few listens but it's just nothing like remarkable but but overall it's still a good track um then we move on to probably one of my favorite sabbath songs being sabra cadabra which is a pretty doozy song has it pretty much i would follow in sort of like the vein of national cravat and it has a great performance by the by of course tony then Guy, Zara, and bill and i just love the drums on this song and i feel like this song is kind of over looked but i feel like sort of like but it's not as like a national acrobat but i just like just the, the riffs on that song it's just it just makes you want to dance for some fucking weird reason i don't know <laughs> and moving on to killing yourself to live and i feel like once again tony has another great guitar performance and the presence of like geezer's bass is pretty much felt here and ozzy's vocals are good on this song and overall it's another amazing song um, who are you now? I feel like this song is kind of a bit of filler, but it doesn't mean that it's a bad song But and I honestly feel like to Ozzy's uh, vocals are kind of eh here And I feel like the use of the synthesizers on this song is pretty much weird But overall it's a good song, but it's not like the best on the album, but it's not worst I don't know. It's just somewhere in the middle. It's it's okay. Let's just leave it at that I'm um, moving on to looking for today now. This is a pretty interesting Sabbath song. It's pretty much up at the and just upbeat i should say it it's a pretty much a diverse way to s stand out from the, the last song and i feel like this song is similar to who are you is another filler um and then we move on to ooh, spir spiral the spiral architect can't even speak today another pretty much a good way to end this album it's just a 
fantastic way to end everything on a high note. The, the vocals are great, and I feel like Ozzy just shines really great on this track, and Tony just does some great guitar work as usual, and just the drumming from Bill Ward is good, good, but I just feel like Geezer's bass is not heard as well on sort of like the other tracks on here, and this pretty much has some of the, some really good lyrics from any Black Sabbath song I've ever heard, and this is, in my opinion, is a pretty much a great conclusion to a great, great album. Now overall, Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, like Black Sabbath is a pretty good album, but I honestly feel like this album is kind of underlooked in the Sabbath discography, especially like during the 70s era with Ozzy, but that's just me. So if I have to give this album a score, I probably would give this a solid 9 out of 10. So yep, that's my review of Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the album, and I'll see you all in the next video. And as always, keep it metal.